Yo, what's up guys? This is BY Gaming and welcome to episode 4 of Fossil Fighters Champion. So today we are going to be exploring Jungle Labyrinth, which is the second dig site of the game. The first one having been Treasure Lake, which we've been to already. And last episode, as a recap, we took on Todd in the first round of the Calioceo Cup and knocked him out of the tournament. So that was a very unfortunate pairing, but it is what it is. And so yeah, let's jump right into it. But firstly, please hit that like button, that would really help me out. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel for future parts of this playthrough. I currently upload them every Monday and every Thursday, so mark that on your calendars if you don't want to miss them. And that being said, let's hit story mode and get right back into it. Okay, so here is Jungle Labyrinth. So this is the second dig site of the game. And um, yeah, we basically saved Professor Scatterly here last time as well. He was an old man who was just lying on the floor. So, let's go deeper into the path here and find out what is going on here. Here's Todd saying, hey, 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 hey! Hey, BY guy, are you digging hard or hardly digging? Ha ha ha. Look, I have good news. If we go deeper into the jungle labyrinth, there's tons of cool fossil rocks. And since we're both here, I figured we could go digging together. Wah! What? what's wrong? But but back there, in the but back it's a horrible monster. It was chasing us like it was going to eat us whole. Or maybe it wanted to chew us first, but either way, that's not something I'm interested in. But what if it decides to keep chasing us? What if it comes here? Run away! M monster <laughs> Yeah, there's no such things as monsters, right? They, uh, they must have been mistaken. Yeah, that's it. Now see here, folks, but I gotta disagree. Ain't no way two grown men make the same, mista the same mistake, uh-huh. Way I hear it, we got a big old monster lurking in this here jungle. Monsters got a mean old face and a personality to match. And if it happens to find you, it'll bite your little head clean off. I'd avoid going any deeper into this old jungle unless you want to get yourself hurt, uh-huh. Fossil rocks don't mean nothing if some monster gets to chewing on you. This part is very weird. Um, say, BY guy, maybe we should just stop for today. What do you think? I mean, it's not because I'm scared or anything. My vivisaur could stomp that monster into a pancake. But there's probably tons of good fossil rocks right here. Oh, you, you still want to go in, huh? Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, well, alright, I'll go, go with you, but, but it's just that... Oh boy, here comes the stomach ache! Ooh, oh my stomach, it's killing me! I shouldn't have eaten that green tuna fish sandwich for lunch. So, sorry, but you can go by yourself. I'll catch up soon, I promise. Yes, of course, Todd is the Rosie of Fossil Fighters Champions. In other words, completely useless. Anyways, let's keep on going here. And let's go deeper into the forest here. So, here's another path. Hey! Yo, what's up, Todd? Stomach feeling better already? Sorry I took so long. I bet you were pretty lonely without me, huh? But look, BY guy, maybe we should just stop here, you know? And it's not because I'm scared. It's just because, well, we've gone a long way already, you know? Russell, Russell. Yeah, what's that? Who's there? J just the wind. Yeah, that's it. It's the wind. Or a wild boar. That would be okay, too. What the heck? Whoa. Who are you? Or what are you? Eek, I'm a monster! Did he just call me a monster? Because that's kind of insulting. I don't know if you noticed, but I happen to be amazingly beautiful and charming. Huh? Who am I? Are you for real? Do you live in a cave or something? Alright, dig the wax out of your ears and listen up. I'm the girl who is going to win the Calio Steel Cup and be the biggest teen idol in the whole world. I'm Pauline.
What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is it the mask? It's the mask, right? Look, there's a very good reason I can't take this mask off. But trust me, I am totally beautiful underneath it. People faint when I walk by. I'm serious. You're a fighter too, right? Well then, you should introduce yourself. It's only fair, you know. Okay, so we introduced ourselves to the strange girl with the mask on. So your name's BY Guy. Yes, well, it must be a, a real thrill for you to finally meet me. So enough about you. Did you hear about the monster that's running around the jungle? Well, I'm going to fight it and I'm going to win. Oh, hey, I just had a great idea. You should come along, BY Guy. That way you can see how awesome I am and then tell everybody about your new favorite teen idol fighter. That's a great idea. I'm so glad I'm around to think of these things. Well, come on, I don't have all day. Okay, so Pauline decided to tag along here. And so, looks like we're gonna go look for this monster in the forest together here. Alright. So, we're gonna have to keep on going up ahead here. Looks like... A sinister feeling fills the air. Are you prepared for battle? Yes. I hope so anyways, because I did not save. I'm actually excited to see what this monster looks like, and I know it's excited to see me. Alright, alright, enough then. Let's keep going here. Alright. So, where is this monster? Well, this is the deepest part of the jungle, but I don't see a monster anywhere. Whoa, gra! There's the monster. What the heck is that? Prepare to meet your doom at the hands of Pauline, the most beautiful fighter in the land. What the heck? I'm not gonna lie, the first time I played this game, I thought that she beat the crap out of this machine right here. She literally just beat it with her bare hands, but turns out it just broke. Aw oh man, the darn thing broke! Well, it's been scaring off fighters 24-7. I'm surprised it lasted this long. Come on, let's see if we can fix it. Hold the phone, what's going on? Are you telling me this monster is just some kind of fake? Ha ha, you're smarter than you look, girl. Yeah, it's a big old fake. Me and Lee here built it ourselves. Yeah, but it was really it was a really good fake. All the fighters were too scared to come to this part of the jungle, and that meant we could take all the fossil rocks we wanted. Pretty smart, huh? Uh-oh. Yep, old Mr. Monster here did his job real well. But now you know our little secret, and we can't be having that now, can we? Let's lock them up somewhere until they forget, eh, Jerry? Hold it right there! I can deal with your fake monster, and I can even deal with your dumb names, but no one locks me up. Alright, BY guy, you take that fighter, and I'll take this one. Here we come! Okay, looks like we have to battle here. So, here's Jerry here, with a Nikto and a Anomalo. Okay, we're gonna pretend that we know how to pronounce these names here, but these are two Vivasaurs that were not in the original Fossil Fighters, but they are both rank one and they're both um, air-type Vivasaurs here. So I think we're gonna go with our team here, Pacro, Tricera, and Menchi, because my other two members here, Raja and Dimitro, are too powerful to make this interesting in the slightest. So we are just gonna start this off and hope for the best here. All right, bring it on, Jerry. All right, we got a jamming theme here. And we are speed tied, but the game let me go first. So how fair of you? Anyways, here's Menchi. We're going to use Menchi Stomp on the Nikto because the Anomalo has a Quicken applied to it. So we could miss it. Boom, we got a crit. And that is the end of Nikto right away. So boom. And now we are going to end our turn here. One more attack like that just might do the trick. So Anomalo has Anomalo Twist. Whoa, that hit pretty hard. Okay, so his evasion is gone. And so we are going to hammer him once again with another Menchi Stomp. We're going to do a big chunk of damage here. Didn't take him out, but we can just do that next turn. So boom, we're going to end our turn. And give me what you got, Jerry. 
Another Anomalo Twist. Okay, Tricera's really taking a beating here, but he didn't go down. So we can finish him off this turn with one more Menchi Stomp. This guy's a long range, which means the farther away he is, the more he does. Boom. That is the end of Anomalo, and we just won our freedom back, so yes! Okay. We got five points for that battle. Not bad. Alright. Very good. Okay. We got that good old victory music playing. Oh man, we got beat by a couple of punks. That they're too tough. Are you alright, BY guy? Ah, it's Stella. The um I guess you could say official people in this game always end up coming just a little bit too late, after all the danger has already been taken care of, but it is what it is. Hmm, a homemade monster, eh? Now what could this be for? So we told Stella what happened. Interesting. So they were scaring off all the other fighters in order to claim all the fossil rocks for themselves. Seize them! You have Todd to thank for my being here, BY guy. He came running to me in a panic, wailing about how some monster was going to swallow you whole. I was expecting some kind of trouble, but, well, not this. Still, fighters are now free to dig for fossil rocks here, so I suppose it all turned out alright. We owe the two of you our thanks. We rounded up these two ruffians, Stella. What do you want us to do with them? They're disqualified from the Calio Cup, so you can throw them out of the park. We'll send someone to collect the fake monster as evidence of their actions. Alright. See you later, BY guy. You too, Pauline. Okay, so the monster ended up not really even being a monster. It was just a machine that these guys were using to scare off the fighters. Ha! Serves them right. Hey, so thanks for helping me out, BY guy. You're pretty good at this. Not as good as me, of course, but pretty good. Hey, BY guy, you're alive. Todd, you missed out all the action, of course. Eek, the monster's right here. Stop calling me a monster. I'm a teen idol and a fighter, and my name is Pauline. So if you ever call me a monster again, I'll knock you out. Well, if you don't want to be called a monster, you shouldn't wear a mask. Why don't you take it off? Nope, sorry, can't do it. So we're just gonna su we're, so we're su just supposed to trust that you're a beautiful teenager? Whatever. How dare you? I'm beautiful and young and and beautiful. I wear this mask for personal reasons that have nothing to do with you and that's the end of it. Now goodbye. Man, there's a lot of text as usual in these games to read. What kind of weirdo wears a mask for personal reasons? Peep 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 peep. Something is ringing here. It's the Paleo Pager. Okay, there's an incoming message. The Calio Steel Cup Round 2 matches will now begin. Rockin' Billy has been selected as BY Guy's Round 2 opponent. Please get ready, then check in at Rebular Town's Fossil Stadium. Yes! Round 2 is finally starting. I'll meet you back at the Fossil Stadium, alright? You're gonna be awesome, I know it! Okay, so, let's get back and take on the second match of the Calio Steel Cup here. Alright, so... There has to be a VMM somewhere, I just know it. Yes! There we go. Let's return to town. Just like in the last game, you can somehow teleport. So that is very, very handy. So I wouldn't have to go through this entire jungle just to get back. But anyways, we're back now. So, into the fighter station we go, and we are going to take on the second round of this tournament. Hey, you there! Yeah, you! What is going on here? You're BY guy, right? I watched your round, your round one match. Very entertaining. You're green as can be, but still, I see potential. I see potential in you. Oh, sorry, sorry. The name's Ned. Ned Tudor. Wow. 
just like Sammy Naro. I'm the youngest of the three Tudor brothers. Ever heard of us? No? Sounds like I gotta get out more. Oh, and do you like the beard? I've been working on it for a while now, and it's pretty lush. Yes, well, enough about whatever we were talking about. Beat me in a battle and I'll teach you a vital digging skill. Well, are you up for it? Yep, let's go, Ned Tudor. Let's battle! Alright, so... We have a Radix at rank 1 and an Igwa at rank 1. So this, just like last time, doesn't seem to be any kind of problem. We're just going to go into it with our first team here and uh, just hope for the best. Okay, BY Guy versus Ned Tudor. This is the second battle of this part of the playthrough. So let's hope it's something interesting here. But anyways, we are just going to attack with Menchi Stomp. And we're going to attack Igwa because the Radix has a counter on. So we could take the damage back if we attack it instead. We're just going to hit Igwa. We're not doing too much, unfortunately, because it's not as far away as it could have been. But it is what it is. Radix Headbutt. He's going to do some pretty decent damage at that range. But Tricera can probably take a few hits. So that's good. We're going to keep on attacking with Menchi. Just because that long range comes... In a lot of handy here. Menchi Stomp. Boom. Okay, another 26 damage. We're going to end our turn. Let's see what's going on here. Fist Jab. That's going to hurt. Yikes. He almost knocked us out just then. And I think we might be dead here. No, Tricera just took that. Nice. Activating Parting Blow. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to... We're not going to attack with Tricera, to be honest, because we won't have enough to do anything with Menchi. We're going to attack with Menchi, because why not? Let's just knock out the Igwa. And then, unfortunately, we don't have enough FP to do another attack, but if Radix stays there, we can do some serious damage to him next turn because he's really far away. And that means Menchi is going to really shine here because... He is a long range, so the farther away he is, the more he does. Okay, that's fine. We're going to lose Tricera here, which is unfortunate. Tricera goes down. You did. Good work, Tricera. But unfortunately, you couldn't handle that. And we're just going to attack with Menchi from far away, and that's going to do a lot of damage. Menchi Stomp. Boom. That just did 40 damage. He's probably almost dead. And next turn, he will be dead, so boom. These beginning battles are never too exciting because, you know, all of our Vivisaurs are typically pretty weak. But I promise you this game, just like the last one, will get better as we progress here. It's just that in the beginning, it takes a while for the momentum to get going. Same thing with me in the playthrough. You might notice that I'm not super, super ecstatic in this part. But it's just because, number one, I don't really even remember parts of these, you know, chapters here. And also the fact that it's not the most exciting parts of the game that we're at just yet, so... Alright, we won, at any rate, against Ned Tudor. And, uh, yeah, this game has some really, really wacky names. Okay, so, we didn't get any points for winning that. But he did promise us a new digging skill. Nice job, very nice. Well, as promised, I have a special digging technique to teach you. A skilled fighter can spot the elemental type of a fossil rock in the, the moment it leaves the ground. And here's the secret. Okay, so just like last time with Sam Minaro, is he gonna zap us with a lightning bolt? Apparently. Okay, nice. Voila, pretty swanky, no? When you dig up fossil rocks now, they'll be one of five colors. Red, green, yellow, blue, or white. The color indicates the elemental type of the fossil inside. That'll make it a lot easier to dig, yeah? Indeed. So we gain the ability to distinguish colored fossil rocks. Very nice. Go see my brothers on Cranial Island and Ilium Island. They've got more stuff to teach you. And with that, I ride. Yay! I'm actually not going anywhere. It just sounded cool. Alright. Thanks for that. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I think we could cram in one more battle. But... Hmm. Should we do that? Maybe not. Let's just end... 
the part here. So this was part four of my Fossil Fighters playthrough. Very underwhelming, I know, but I promise you that the game will get better as we continue here. It's just that at this point, I feel like it's probably smarter to not add anything else into this part because there's a new battle coming up and I might want to go back to um, you know, the forest there to get some more fossils and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to end this part here. Thanks so much for watching part four of my Fossil Fighters Champions playthrough. Once again, this game will take some time to get warmed up and get really, really interesting, but I promise if you stick with this, it's going to get really awesome. So please stick with this. And once again, please like this video for the YouTube algorithm. That really helps me out, guys. These videos take a lot of time and energy to make, so I'd really appreciate that. Also, be sure to subscribe for future parts of this playthrough. I currently upload them every Monday and every Thursday. So definitely mark that on your calendars if you want to catch those parts and yes i will be seeing you guys next time so as always this is by out peace